So I realized while doing a couple of other videos that I was making that I actually haven't defined the problem that these videos are going to you know, lead up and hopefully solve. Um, so let's define the problem. We have a polygon in 2D. Um, anybody who knows computational geometry or geometry in general will know that you know, a polygon is only in 2D. Uh, in 3D it's called a polyhedron. So we have a polygon and we want to triangulate it. So let's let's create a quick polygon. Let's see. There's a pier, there's a point, and there's a point. We're gonna do a nice simple convex polygon. And because I want to be a bit more professional in my my drawing of this polygon than it was in my last few videos, we're actually going to use the straight line tool. And did that work? Hmm, that worked. Okay, cool. Keynote, remember to in the next video use a thicker line, but we will use this one because I'm going with it and I'm too lazy to redo it again. So, here's our nice simple convex polygon. Whoops, let's not do that one. Don't like that. Gotta connect. It's like when you're four years old and you're just playing connect the dots. Okay, so we have this, this polygon. And we want to triangulate, and triangulate main basically means we want to take all this inside area and turn it into a whole bunch of uh, triangles. Um, there's lots of different ways to do this, and hopefully if I have time over the next few weeks while I'm taking this, this computational geometry course I'm in, I will do a whole bunch of different triangulation methods. Uh, the first one we're going to start with, and the, the videos I've been creating, ha are working up to just a brute force triangulation method. And what we basically do is we just start at any point, any arbitrary point, and we counter counterclockwise check that point with all other points and see if we can create a diagonal. So in this case, because this is a convex polygon, we can create a diagonal here. We can't create it here because the, the, uh, the uh, vertice here is adjacent to this vertice. So we'll create one there, and then we'll move on to this vertice, and we can create one here, and then we can create one here. And this one again is a J, so we can't. And now you can see we've triangulated. We have a triangle here, 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 and here. Now we would normally continue on, and we would go to the next vertice and check to see if we can triangulate it with something else. Now if we try to do this one, like so, that is an invalid triangulation because this diagonal, this purple line, which is called diagonal, intersected here. And this is bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, build a whole bunch of functions and eventually a, uh, an actual program that will solve this problem for us in a brute force fashion. It will go and very quickly, uh, not very quickly, it's actually a pretty bad complexity. It's like a uh, big O of n to the fourth, I think. Um, we're going to solve this problem though and, and triangulate any uh, polygon that we give it. Now this particular polygon is actually um, a very easy one because it is convex. What, what becomes interesting is when you have um, uh, these more complex polygons. So let's do one of these just for shits and giggles. Oops, I cursed. Probably shouldn't do that. Uh, let's do another one though. Um, do one here, one there, one there, maybe one there, another one here. How about one down here and then maybe back up here, here, here. Yeah, that should be enough. And then let's no go away. Got to hide that stupid thing. Let's come come back up here and let's use something a bit bigger. So we'll again play connect the dots. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, so again, connect the dots. There, and there, and there, and there, and there, and 
this one goes here, 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 and then straight across here. Now this is a much more interesting polygon, uh, as you can tell. It's not convex anymore. We actually have some reflex uh, edges or angles. Um, so let's let's just do a quick polygon triangulation. So let's say this is our V. Whoops, I do not want to be on the line draw anymore. I want to right. So this is going to be our starting point down here at the uh, the bottom. And that's going to be our V zero, and we're going to go counterclockwise. And we're going to, uh, oops, got to get rid of that thing, I swear. And we're going to do some diagonals. Oops, that was a bad one. Okay, so we're going to do some diagonals. So we'll start here. Again, this vertex here is adjacent, so we don't do that one. So we'll go right up to this one. Um, and then we'll check this one, which we can do because there's no intersections. Again, uh, this one it actually works. Surprisingly enough, doesn't look like it would, but it does. Um, so that one works. So we got that one, and then we'll do this one. This one again works. No intersections. It looks like it intersects down here, but it doesn't. It just goes right into the point. This one works again. Wow. Okay. So I'm almost all of them are going to try and get on this one. However, this one though if it goes straight towards it, it's no longer inside the polygon, it's outside. So we have an exterior diagonal. That's a no-no. Diagonals have to be interior in the polygon. So we will undo that. And uh, that's that's one of our problems we're going to have to solve, is we're going to have to basically figure out a way to detect when a, uh, a diagonal is interior or exterior to the polygon, and then, uh, you know, basically if it's exterior, don't create that diagonal. Um, and that's pretty much all the diagonals we can create on this vertex, so we'll go up to this vertex. And this one, it looks like, yep, it can't touch anything because this line right here cuts it off. Um, but if we were to draw one, let's say, up to here, you would see that there is an intersection here. Whoops. There is an intersection here, so that would be bad, so, you know, no, no. Move this polygon. This one, again, can't go anywhere. It's stuck. This one can't go anywhere. This one definitely can't go anywhere. This one, this is our first reflex vertex we've actually hit. Uh, it can't go anywhere either, but there's some interesting rules to reflex uh, vertices we have to be careful with. Uh, and we'll get into that later as we, we get closer to the finalization uh, of this brute force triangulation function algorithm. Uh, we'll go to this one. This one can go somewhere. Can't go here because it's adjacent, but we can go here. And that actually pretty much finishes off our triangulation of the uh, entire polygon. Uh, we can go here. This one can't touch anything. It could go here, but it's exterior, so that's a no-no. Can't go exterior. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Uh, if we go back to this vertex right here, you could see that if, if we tried to create a diagonal like that, that'd be exterior. That's a no-no again. Um, so, yeah, and that, that's our triangulation. You can see that each of these internal segments, quadrants area, are triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven triangles. Uh, and this actually brings up kind of an interesting um, observation. If we have an in... Sorry, let's go back to the paintbrush. If, you know, let's make it so we can actually draw. If we have an in um, number of vertices, which in this case is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vertices, then there will be n minus two triangles inside. So number of vertices is n, in this case n equals nine. Let's put a line there, put a line there. And then in this case, you know what, that's going to get really confusing because it looks like I'm dividing. Let's, uh, let's just erase that. So n is the number of vertices, n minus 2 is the number of uh, internal triangles. So again, if we have n equals 9, which is what we have here, then we will have 7 triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. I feel like count uh, the count on Sesame Street. So 
that is our problem, um, and we are going to solve this by creating a whole bunch of uh, little functions that do very, very specific things, like uh, determine the area of uh, a polygon, uh, determine uh, if one point is left of two other points, uh, check for collinearity, or check to see if uh, three points are collinear. Um, we'll also check for intersects, um, intersects, uh, for both proper and improper cases, and we'll go into that when we get there. And we're also going to write a function that we will call in cone, which will basically uh, tell us if a, a diagonal that we're creating is inside or outside of a polygon. Uh, so with that, that is the problem that we'll be working on, and we are going to uh, do this, and we're going to show code for this, so that in case you really don't care how to do it, you just want to do it, then you can just copy my code, and you'll be ready and able to do that. So with that, later.